Amy. It's no, you don't mind me coming today. As long as Amy feels comfortable. Yeah, I thought it was important because there was an incident last week. Amy nearly started self-harming again. Amy, do you want to talk about what happened? Why don't you tell me how you were feeling that day? Like, everything was running away from me. Like, I couldn't control it. Like, it was all my fault. And my dad and Denise aren't talking. Yeah, we're having some personal issues. But we're working for them. No, you're not. You're just ignoring each other. Sorry, I'm late. What are you doing here? Well, Amy texted and said you both wanted me here. Oh, did she? That's all right. It's fine, I'll go. Stay, please. Hey, mate. I can see it's important to you that your dad and Denise talk. Denise, please, take a seat. I know it's hard when there's issues in the family. And I really would encourage you to look at having some family therapy sessions. OK? I know what you're trying to do. But we need to focus on you today. And what happened last week. You could stay for a bit. Look, I've got work to do. <clears throat> sorry, I just thought you could talk. No, nah, you've got nothing to be sorry about. Things will settle. But, you know, you've got to use your counsellor to talk about you, not us. But you not being at home makes me feel worse. I know. And I am sorry. But things will get better. And you know you can come to Patrick's any time you want, yeah? How about, um, family therapy? Like my school counsellor suggested. Yeah, uh, it's a lovely idea. I just don't think that your dad is going to want to talk to a stranger about us. And you shouldn't worry about me and him on top of everything else. Maybe I just want you to be well. And all I want is for you to be home. So does he. He's all over the place without you. 